Okay, let's start work with a new project. I'm going to click on new project and the the package I intend to use is going to be the latest Unity Unity 6. So I'm going to select let's select this unit this is a building uh, render pipeline with this unity 3d let me give that a try i'm just going to click on download and there we go so i'll give it a name so let's say city unity 6. click on create there we go, my CT Unity 6 is coming up. There we go, Unity Engine coming up. All right, the development environment is ready. I'm gonna go straight to Windows and let's go to Package Manager. And in there, I'm gonna select my assets here. And what I'm looking for is the simple Pusity package, something like that. I think that's what it's called anyway. There we go. Yeah, I found it. There. I'm going to make use of these. And the next thing you do is you can always download it or import it here. Right? Because uh, it's totally different from the previous method. We used to have the icon to import or download here. So I'm going to click on import. And there we go, it's coming up. Yeah, that's good. I think it's imported it straight off onto my system. Look at it right there. Okay, I'm gonna double click on this scene here. Double click on that scene. And that's the demo. Just double click on it. And there is there somewhere which you are not able to see it right now. Let's double click on one of these trees. There we go. Yeah. Now, I want to focus my camera straight to where, where I have all of these assets. That's my camera there, and look at it, it's saying minus 300 plus. So, select my camera, and change the position here to minus 300 plus the Y axis. I'm going to make that 70.2. I'm going to make the Z axis about, let's say, minus 20. There. Now, one good thing about this Unity 6 is you have indicators here. So if I select my camera and enable this indicator, there we go. Look at it. It's directly showing me the position of my asset. So let's select this camera to kind of make adjustment. Can you see that? So that's one good thing about this Unity 6. I love it for that. Man. Look at that. I've just adjusted the position of my camera. I want to look at that. Okay, so and we can just move it. That's brilliant. I love this one. All right, that's good. We we'll leave the camera like that. Now, now, if I run it, this is just going to be a brief tutorial, though. So it's not going to be much in detail. That's what we're seeing. But I'm just going to add some of my previous code just to jazz things up so i'm going to go to my previous program and grab all of those codes and right there let's let's just open my previous program and have the codes made that is it um mouse loop and movement so let's drop it in here yeah that's fine Let's grab hold of mouse, look at movement, drag, and just dump it here. Okay, I now have it on my own project here. There we go. So select my main camera. If you guys want these lines of code, I'm going to attach a link to it for you guys. So select the main camera and just drag movement, dump it right there. Okay. Make sure you select the camera, you are attaching the code to the camera. So if I run it, I should be able to just move up and down. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Okay, with the movement, I have an error there. It's telling me I do need character controller. So come right here, click on add component and add character controller. That is it done. 
So I should be able to move up and down. There we go. Look, I can now move around the the beautiful scenery. You see that? You see that, guys? That's brilliant. You see? But if I did go out of here, I think I'm going to sink. Let's see that. Check that out. Do you see what happened? All right, stop that. Now, make sure the camera is still selected. I want to be able to turn around. So I'm going to grab hold of the lookup. Mouse look, I mean, mouse look. So the mouse look does have its own speed. Like uh, you're tilting up and down, you can always change them to whatever you want. So let's run that and see how that's going to look like as well. There we go, that's the mouse look. Look at me panning around, just going around. But I still have the same problem if I didn't move out of this scenery. Look at me, I dropped again. So stop that. Now to prevent that from happening, I'm going to add. Let's come right to hierarchy here. Click on hierarchy. Let's select 3D and select terrain. So my terrain is there somewhere. I'm going to double click on that terrain. That's the terrain. So for now, you see this uh, camera viewer. I'm going to uncheck it. You see how beautiful that is. Now this is my asset right here and here is my terrain so i'm just going to drag the terrain just drag it towards the asset and make sure the asset is centered with the terrain so if i run it now this is what you see you see the terrain in control of everything but the problem is the terrain is now well focused here look at it it's right there somewhere look i can see drop because the terrain is way way below the asset itself you see if you look here now the asset is kind of like somewhere here all right so let's end that so i want to move that terrain grab hold of the asset so move the terrain to about 70 let's click on this road look at it it's 71 so grab hold of the terrain and just change the position to the y axis to 70.19 I think that should do the, the trick. Run it now. Let's see. There we go. Look at that. I can now dive out and do what I like. Look at me. I'm doing what I like now. I'm not dropping anymore. You see? So the next thing we're going to do is just add some trees to it. Music to it. So I've already downloaded some music from YouTube. This is the one I'm going to use. This very one here. So let's copy the music just drag it on board so i'm going to go to my explorer just drag the music dump it in there there it's right there so go back to my hierarchy select audio click on audio drag the music dump it right inside audio in the inspector there if i run it now and i have background music Hear that, guys? Okay, that is taken care of. Let's go back and just end that. Now, stop. The next thing is let me add some trees. I'm going to go back to my windows and let's select. I might as well select directly my assets. I have access to that. So let's look for, I think it's called, yeah, there we go, Coneflow. All right, download that. Once that finished downloading, then we can import it onto the system. Yes, finished downloading, that is it. So it now needs to be imported. Click on import. And click on import again. There. Okay. Um, I've, I have actually install this uh, building render pipelines i'm gonna close that i can close this now so that is that is it right there okay the folder is called forest now select your terrain come straight to the property here the third one click on that to add your trees and click on add trees and here three click on that and let's look for the trees here it should be here somewhere there we go there they are we'll grab hold of this one 
yeah that will do and now it's right there click on add and i have my trees in there you see where we have mass place tree i'm going to mass place the tree we have ten thousand in there i'm going to make it about one hundred thousand click on place there we go you see everywhere now I have trees all over so if i run it some some part of the asset is all covered look at that so what we need to do is let's change the position hold on to your alt key let's select this hold on to the alt key and just reposition your your projects and right there look at it so i'm going to now clean out where i have my asset look at my asset right there just here i'm going to clean it out now so make sure my terrain is still selected and here and make sure the three tab is, is selected and hold on to your shift key okay hold on to it and here just clean can you see that we now, we now clean that area because i intend to duplicate the whole asset i'm just going to clean out more area for myself yeah that's good enough yeah so if i run it now let's reposition it if I run it now, this is what you guys should see. Look at that. Okay. You see this big, huge, empty space? Let's do one thing. Let's select all of the buildings. All of the buildings in here. Uh, maybe including the trees and whatever it's got in there. And just select everything and duplicate it. Uh the, the streets let's leave out the street there we go right click or just press ctrl d yeah it's duplicated but i want to make it 360. okay look at that let's make it 360. click on that and just turn it around Let's turn it around. Keep going, keep going. There we go. Look at that, guys. Yeah, something like that. Just there we go. Look at that, guys. Run it. So and I have beautiful city in the game. Look at that, guys. Check this out. Okay, it's like I have. Oh, have some space in here see that so let's come back in here and just move it a bit closer so i can block out the space that i saw earlier yeah something like that i should do right all right that's good it's like i have one two three lanes or four lanes that's fine okay now we're getting somewhere guys that's very good right so if you want you can add people onto it or you can add a, an avatar and so on onto it so that's my tutorial on uh, or using the, the latest unity pre unity 6 and I think you guys enjoy it. I believe you guys enjoy it. You can improve on it, make whatever you want to do. And just this uh, one last thing for me to do is this my terrain. I'm going to select the terrain and come right here. You see terrain setting? Scroll right down and let's look for you see where we have material, basic terrain, material. Click on that. And let's change the background. Just want to change the background to something totally different. Hey, this this looks like grassland. Yeah, click on that and let's run it. There we go. Look at it. It's green everywhere. See? So that's my tutorial using the new Unity 6. So with that, I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial, guys. I presume you all enjoyed. You all have a nice day now. Bye for now.